Welcome back to Pokemon Crystal. We're on Route 45. I think it's Route 45 anyway. I checked the route number like 30 seconds ago and I already forgot. Be prepared for anything. Let me see if your Pokemon have been raised properly. Yeah, so Route 45 is probably the most annoying route in the entire game, if a route can even be annoying. Well, I guess it could. Um, but the reason why Route 45 is so annoying and so frustrating is because of all the ledges here. Basically, you're, I guess you're supposed to be like descending from the mountain that Blackthorn City is on top of, but... Um, the problem with this is, once you go down a ledge, you can't go back up. And so, there are also trainers in areas that can't be reached unless you like take a certain combination of ledges or a certain, I don't know, a certain way down here. I don't know how else to explain that um, other than, I guess, showing you. So the only way you're going to fight all the trainers on Route 45 is to go down one way, reach New Bark Town, or get to the bottom of the, all the ledges at least, and then fly back up to Blackthorn City, come back down again, and I think you might actually have to do that three times. Um, I might be wrong about that. It might only be twice, but for some reason, I have this I, I have this gut feeling that I'm gonna have to be doing it three times, which is fr that's very it's incredibly frustrating. And these trainers, what are, like what are they what are they doing? They still have level 27 Pokemon. That's a little that's ridiculous. They should not be. Well, I guess I'm I'm relatively over leveled. Oh, I lost that. Yeah, you stupid head. Yeah, so... Yeah, see, this is the problem. There's a trainer right there, but we can't get back up there because we can't we can't go up the ledge. So what the fuck are you supposed to do? Nothing. You just gotta fly all the way back to, to Blackthorn. And, um... I ought to use that calcium that I picked up in Dragon's Den. Because I need the inventory space, man. Why is it, why is my bag so small? I should invest in a larger bag. Wait, what does this do? Special stats? Okay, um... God, I don't know. I'll use it on... Sadie, I guess? I don't fucking know. Does it really matter? Who I use it on? They've all... They're all pretty strong. And they're all over-leveled anyway, so... They should have no problem. Man, I didn't even look at you. What is your battle strategy? It is foolish to use strong moves indiscriminately. Not if you've got a PP up and you can afford to use strong moves indiscriminately. It's not like I have that many strong moves anyway. I, I don't have a hydro pump or anything. I wish I did, that'd be pretty cool. But Surf is good enough for me. Surf is a damn good move. Okay. Uh, nope, not Brenny. Sadie, I want Sadie. bother putting a sign on my door um, because people just knock on it anyway and think they can do whatever they want just interrupt my recording I have a sign on my door that says recording in progress please come back later do not knock but uh, people don't seem to understand I like that little body body thing that works with, I don't know I feel awkward now I'm just, I had a flow and then it just got interrupted and now the flow is, the flow is low, man. Uh, see this is, this is when the game starts to get slow again. Like it, the game is slow to begin with and then it kind of, the, the pace kind of goes up once you get like your fifth gym badge. Cause then you're fighting like. You fight Chuck, and then immediately after you fight Jasmine, like literally five minutes later. And then... Oh, Thunderbolt, that's... Yes, okay, don't mash A. Um... Wait, is Thunderbolt stronger than, than something I already have? Like, can I get rid of Thunder Punch? 
Should I get rid of Thunder Punch? What just happened? Oh shit, my computer's not plugged in. That is not... that's not good. How is that not plugged in? There you go. Jesus. My computer is about to die on me, man, and I wouldn't even... Nothing I could do about it. Okay. Um, I guess I'll get rid of Dizzy Punch. I don't really... And then later, when, when Sadie learns Thunder, which I think she'll learn Thunder uh, in her 50s, probably. I could just replace Thunder Punch, I guess. I think Thunderbolt's probably stronger than Thunder Punch. Well, it would, it would make sense for it to be that way, because... Did I fight you? It would make sense for it to be that way because... Uh, you know, naturally, because she learned it after she learned Thunder Punch. Hmm. No! Shit! I didn't want to jump down! God damn it! Ugh, fuck my life. Well, now we gotta go down like four or five times. Okay, what can I get rid of? Honestly, Mint Berry, I'm never gonna use it. Fucking toss that shit, man. Yes. Energy Root, no. Uh, well, water Stone, I can have someone hold. Here. No, Vernie's already holding something. Um, no. I'll give the Water Stone... No, not use it, come on. Give it to Sadie, I don't care. You hold that. Good, good girl. Pick up the nugget, because honestly we need the money. We wasted all our money on Ultra Balls. Well, I don't want to say wasted. We used all our money on Ultra Balls. Because they are going to they are gonna come in handy later. Uh, I still have to catch the fucking Legendary Beast. Oh yeah, I, I also forgot to mention. Uh, while I was grinding, why do I climb mountains? Because they're there. Why do I chain Pokemon? Because they're there. That is the soundest logic I've ever come across. Okay, anyway. Um, while I was grinding near Blackthorn City, I encountered uh, Raikou, which is the, the legendary beast that I didn't have in the Pokedex yet. So, um, that is spectacular, because I don't even have to search around randomly now. We know where the legendary beasts are, um, which is good. Because I really was not looking forward to that. I was not looking out. I was not looking forward to, uh, to having to track down Raikou and try to find it randomly in the wild. But it happened. So it's now in my Pokedex. We can now see where it is at all times, and that'll just make finding them that much easier. Now the upside to playing Crystal version is that rather than having to find all three legendary beasts in the wild, we only have to find two in the wild because we. We caught Suicune in a scripted event. So, that's why Pokemon Crystal is the definitive Gen 2 version. Not because of the, po the Pokemon animations or all the other uh, innovations that this game introduced, such as female playable character. No! It's all about being able to catch Suicune and not having to track it down in the wild. That's the main attraction here. Rain Dance? I don't care. No. Basically what Rain Dance does is just powers up water type moves. But I I don't really care. It it's just a waste of a turn to me, if you ask me. Unless you're doing like competitive battling, then it's not really worth your time. Ah god damn it, I can't just walk two steps in the grass. Oh! Okay, well that's cool. We got we got a new Pokemon here. I guess I could talk about this. This is Dawn Fan. It is the evolved form of uh fan. Fanpy? Fanpy? It's Fanpy. Yeah, Fanpy. <laughs> Which, I don't know if we've seen Fanpy. Uh, we might have, actually, but it is a ground type. I believe it's just pure ground. Um, it is very strong. And it also gives a lot of experience points, so... Um, that's mainly why I grind here. Um, because... Dawn Fan gives away a lot of experience. It's, it's pretty common around these parts, uh, finding Dawn Fan. Um, it gives lots of experience, and Ice type moves are super effective against it, so it makes it easy to train um, Rennie here. Or if you have a swine over a pillow swine. Sorry, pilo swine. Uh, I, see, the thing is, I used to call it pillow swine. I don't know why. It doesn't make sense. There's no. There's only one L, so. By all means, it should be Pilo Swine. But I, I just used to call it Pillow Swine, so that's 
That's what I call it, the fluffy pillow. Pillow, pillow pig. It's a pillow. It's a swine. It's a pillow swine. Okay. Stop, come on. Stop using your fury. Fuck me, man. How many times are you going to hit me with that? That's like the maximum amount of times. Okay, let's see what Thunderbolt looks like. Oh, uh, it looks cool, man. I think that's the same animation from Gen 1, right? Possibly. So I'm just going to... I'm just gonna assume that Thunderbolt is more powerful than Thunder Punch. Is that a safe assumption to make? I hope so. Okay, Kim. You got this, baby. Primeape, fucking please. You fought plenty of Primeape before. We fought Primeape in Cyanwood City, and we had no problem whatsoever. Wing Attack should take it out. We don't even have to use Fly. That's how weak Primeape is, man. But, um, back, going back to the legendary beasts, or the legendary dogs, or whatever the fuck you want to call them, um, it should be relatively easy for us, um, because we don't really have to find, or we don't really have to catch both of them legitimately. Uh, what I mean by that is, if you go to, uh, Professor Elm, in New Barktown after getting all eight gym badges, which we have done, um, you can get the Master Ball, which allows you to catch any Pokemon, you know, normal Pokemon, legendary Pokemon, anything, without fail. The Master Ball never fails, so you could throw it at a Pokemon, like a level 100 legendary Pokemon with full health, and it would work, no problem. 100% of the time. I was tough at the Battle Tower. Um... So, really, we could just use the Master Ball on one of the Legendary Bees and catch the other one uh, legitimately and do it the way it's meant to be done. So that's that's good. Whatever I can do to get around having to, to whittle down their health and all that jazz. But anyway, in the next episode of Pokemon Crystal, we're going to continue on Route 45. See you then.